All right, how's it going, guys? My name is Jordan from R1 Works, and I will be demonstrating today how we built the front suspension with the floating body mounts. Uh, I'm gonna start off with the front bulkhead, taking out the packaging. I will use the front arm for the B6. The part that says R1 is facing the front of the car and the way we do it, the left AE arm will go on the right side of the bulkhead, so it's flipped. Uh, titanium hinge pins that we provide with the suspension kit. The front inner. Now we're going to put the front shock tower on. Front shock tower goes on the back of the bulkhead, the rear section of the bulkhead, and we're only going to use the two bottom holes because we'll be, we'll be um, putting ball studs into the top holes for the camber in the front. Next we'll be putting the C hubs on. And we will need the front outer hinge pins to get these on. And we may need to ream out the hole where the hinge pin goes into with a with a three millimeter reamer. And I'll also be putting a one millimeter spacer in the front of the arm, in the front of the um, C hub.
All right, now we'll be putting in the hot bushings to the sea hops. We might have to ream out this hole for the hot bushings. I believe these are 12 mil button heads. Alright, next we'll be moving on to the carbon fiber front cross bar. So for the carbon front prop bar, we're going to be using these right here and the R1 facing forward. I'm going to use the, these eight millimeter countersunk screws to lock that in place. So now we've got attached to some aluminum. We got aluminum uh, front centering bracket using twelve mil, twelve mil button heads. Lock nut as well under the carbon. So this X nut will lock in the place down here.
Okay, now we'll put these carbon fiber front risers into this slot of the C hut right here. And then they will attach to the front cross bar. snugging this all the way down we still want this to move freely like this okay now we'll be putting this front crossbar to the shock tower hooking this up so it's all attached one piece These 10, 10 mil button head screws are going to go straight through this riser and attach right here to this aluminum piece. Now we're hooking this front center bracket up to the shock tower itself. A spacer that we provide with the floating kit and then two washers on each side. A five and a half uh, hex. And then we're basically just locking this down. Thing should move and then that's basically the front suspension for the, with the floating body mounts like this.